I hope you guys enjoyed that just as much as I did. Whew. Wow. X go give it to you. What? Wait for you to get it on your own. X go deliver to you. Knock knock. Open up the door. It's real. With the non-stop pop pop and stainless steel. Go hard getting busy with it. But I got such a good heart that I make the mother thumb. Wonder if you did it. Damn right, and I do it again. Cause yeah. I am life, so I got to win. Break bread with the enemy. No matter how many cats I break bread with, I break who you send me. There it is. I'm back, bitches. I'm back. Fucking doing it. Haha. <laughs> nice. What's up, guys? Philly Supermoto. It's been about. A month, maybe a little more, since I fucking looped it. And I learned a lot. And uh, we're gonna talk about what kind of riding gear I was wearing when I went down, and more importantly, what type of riding gear I replaced my old shit with. The point of this video is, first and foremost, wear all your gear all the time. Because it's the time that you don't think it's gonna happen when it happens. Two, start by wearing the proper motorcycle gear from day one. If you're new into riding and you're watching this, save the extra couple hundred bucks, go and get some legit riding gear. Especially if you're gonna be doing a lot of like stunts and stupid shit. Because the controls, how the controls feel with dirt bike gloves and work boots or tennis shoes is totally different with how the controls feel with proper riding gear. So when I looped my bike, about a month ago. Uh, fortunately, I was wearing some decent riding gear. Now, I'm gonna start from the bottom and work my way up. So, and I'll tell you the things I, that really hurt me in the long run. So first, it's my boots. I didn't have any actual riding boots. I just wore like my work boots, which were uh, like eight inch Red Wing, you know, standard leather work boot, which, um, dude, they felt, they were super comfy. Like I could feel the controls, like like the controls were very sensitive. I loved it. The problem is when I went down, since they were actually motorcycle boots, I did like I'm not gonna say I sprained my ankles, but my ankles did get a little a little dicked up. So that's the first thing. Second thing I had, I had some like off, like not really name brand uh, textile riding pants. And I'll throw in some uh some uh, pictures as I, you know, as I'm talking here, so you kind, so you guys kind of uh, get a better idea of what I'm talking about. But these pants here, dude, they really saved my ass, like literally, literally and figuratively. Um, and I feel like a lot of people really don't stress the importance of riding pants. It's always like, oh, get yourself a good riding jacket. But um, but don't forget, especially if you're riding a supermoto or if you're stunning, in particular, your ass is probably gonna be the first thing that hits the ground. <sighs> Hurt my ass. <sighs> Yeah, man, my fucking ass is killing me. So, fortunately, I had some good, some, well, they were, they're okay riding pants. They were textile, they did their job. I did get a little road rash here, uh, if I can get to find the picture. Got a little road rash on my leg. So yeah, so I had riding pants on, which were good. Um, I had my Icon Striker, I think it is, back, like spine protector, which isn't CE rated, but, um, it definitely did something because, like, there were some marks on it, you know, after I looked at it. And um, I had my elbow pads on, which were just like some skateboarding elbow pads, whatever, but they didn't really do anything. And the other important thing I had was I had some, like, Troy Lee, you know, standard, like, orange dirt bike gloves. And fortunately, I didn't, I didn't really fall on my hands or anything. The gloves did get a little torn up, but nothing like crazy. And finally, I had on my head. A uh, AFX 41, like dual sporter helmet, which is uh, I did bang my head when I went down, and there is some marks on the helmet. I didn't really crack it in the on the inside or anything, so I don't think it was like a super hard impact, but it was an impact nonetheless. Now, what I fucking learned from that experience. Now that's the second time I've been down, mind you. It was the worst, but it was the second. Um, what I learned is the value of proper motorcycle gear. Now, well my two senses to you 
this is through my experience, is that they make motorcycle gear for a reason. It's specifically made for riding on motorcycles. If you're doing stupid shit like I do, and a lot of other people do on these bikes, you, it's going to make you ride with a lot more confidence when you have the proper gear. So, this is what I replaced my gear with. Starting from the bottom up yet again. First, um, I got the Alpine Star Belize boots. They're like a dual sport boot. Uh, Revzella actually had like a really good uh, video on it, so I was like, you know what, that's kind of like up my alley. So I got the uh, Belize Alpine Star Belize boot all in black, and um, dude, I mean, I've been riding with them and walking with them for probably about you know, like three, maybe four weeks now. And at first, I didn't really like them because they were like fucking ski boots when I first put them on. There was like no movement on them. But um, after riding with them and getting used to them, dude, I really started to, uh, I really, I really enjoy them. And you can definitely see the, the reason why they make the things they, for motorcycles the way they do. Moving on up, I got the uh, Alpine Star Air Dry or something like that. Dry Star, I think it is. Textile pants. Dude, they're fucking... Dude, the build quality is great. They are they are manufactured in Vietnam, but I don't think Alpine Star really sacrificed any uh, quality by doing so. Still a great pant, and I'll tell you what, they breathe amazing. They have these little uh, grooves or whatever, these zippers around your thighs, and it just allows a ton of air to flow through. And they have a uh, fully removable uh, thermal liner in them. I don't know how the thermal liner is, because I've only ridden it in the summer, or worn it in the summer, but uh, for summer pan through, they're great. Um, spine protector, uh, I went with the uh, Alpine Star K2, I believe it is. It's the CE Level 2 rated uh, spine protector. Uh, the only thing I, have to, I would say about that is it's not like the Icon Striker where you can actually just rock the Striker vest. The uh, K2 from Alpine Star, you're definitely going to have to uh, rock a jacket of some sort over that because it's just not going to stay in place. It's just got these two like uh, suspender guys to hold it to hold it onto you and I, uh, like, a, like a belly belt. I love this area. Fucking beautiful houses. This guy has an airplane in his front yard. But, um, moving up, um, I replaced my, uh, dirt bike gloves with these Alpine Star SPX gloves. I think that's what they're called. And, um, after wearing them and, like, you know, breaking them in, which was a fucking pain in the ass, I really enjoy them. Offers a lot of protection. They breathe great. It's just a really great option if you're, uh, riding a bike similar to this. And finally, I uh, got a new helmet, which was a must, but uh, this time I went, you know, I was going to get the same AFX 41 helmet, but um, instead I actually spent uh, an extra 100 or 150 bucks and I uh, got the uh, Icon Variant 2 in all white. And uh, I can tell you, definitely from comparing both of them, uh, I think the Icon is a much better helmet. I think the build quality is much better. The AFX is uh, manufactured in uh, Taiwan, and uh, this Icon is manufactured in Korea. Ouch. I'm not saying that uh, the safety, you know, with the uh, AFX is worse because it's made in Taiwan. I'm sure it's fine. It's DOT and ECE rated, along with this. Uh, this variant's actually DOT. ECE and whatever the Japanese standard for protection is, so it's a little bit more. But just um, when you when you hold both helmets when you're comparing them, you can just tell the uh, quality is uh, definitely goes to the variant. But I don't think you can put you can rock goggles with the variant or the variant too. Uh, the AFX I know you, you can rock the goggles, so that, that's what I did. But it breathes really well. And honestly, I think that helmet's just better suited for uh, the dirt if you're going to be doing more off-road riding than, you know, supermoto riding. But um, what I'm getting at is that if you just start with the right gear, then you'll never have this issue of, like, trying to relearn your bike, how your bike feels. The Belize boots in particular, they're real stiff. So, you know, and I'm just going to talk about, like, supermoto stuff 
for the for the sake of this video. Like I was miss, missing fucking shifts. Uh, the rear brake that was weird too, because it was like I, I just I like physically cannot feel it with my work boot and with tennis shoes you can actually put your uh, big toe on the rear brake and apply it as necessary. But with with an actual proper riding boot you can't do that. It's kind of like a whole boot thing, you know. You just gotta get used to not being able to really. F uh, feel the control like that. Any proper motorcycling gear, and believe me, when you go down, you're gonna really wish you had that proper gear on. And, and what it does is it instills more confidence in you. Saying like, God forbid, if you do go down, you, you know you're gonna be protected, you know? For instance, when I, when I fucking looped my bike, I went to work the next day, worked an 11 hour day, I'm a mechanic, mind you, worked an 11 hour day, and then I went, and went to the fucking uh, gym afterwards for like an hour and a half. Now I was sore. Don't get me wrong. My ass fucking was killing me, but I still had the skin on my on my ass, and I had most of the skin on my body except for a little bit of, came off my leg. This person of all those pissed me off, dude. So all right, well that's it, guys. I'm gonna uh, go dick around and have fun on my Superman Sunday. I hope you guys do too. Be safe out there, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.